Hey there, welcome to another edition of What's Hot with CE Tranquility. I'm your host, Pete Pardo, publisher and CEO of SOT. Today is Monday, November the 13th. As promised, we've got another single release show for you here today. Uh, it's something pretty special for me. I'm sure there's some of you out here that are going to think the same. So today we're going to cover the 30th anniversary edition of the White Snake 1987 album. There is that bad boy right there, folks, in all its glory, right? Jam-packed with stuff. So, <clears throat> a little bit of history. So back in, oh, what was it, 84? 83, 84, you know, Whitesnake released this album called Slide It In, which was their biggest hit at the time here in North America, you know, White Snake had always had a pretty big following in uh, Europe and Japan and throughout the world, but never really caught on in the U.S. until that Slide It In album, which when you listen to all the old White Snake albums, that album is a little bit different, a little more geared towards the kind of commercial hard rock and bluesy hard rock sounds and a little bit of metal that was really getting popular here uh, in North America. And David Coverdale decided to kind of put a band together that he felt was up to the challenge of actually kind of, you know, going after that market. So the Slide It In album uh, had various personnel on it, who half of which dropped out of the band or were dropped from the band when the, the band actually went on tour. But the, uh, the lineup that Coverdale had actually toured with for that album uh, included John Sykes on lead guitar, formerly of Thin Lizzy and the Tigers of Pan Tang, as well as Neil Murray on bass, who's play with everybody basically. Uh, at the time Cozy Powell was on drums, powerhouse drummer, ex of uh, Rainbow, Michael Schenker group, Jeff Beck group, future Black Sabbath drummer. Uh, the relationship with Cozy didn't last too too long past the tour so when it came time to record their next album they were searching mighty hard for a new drummer not having a lot of success finding a young gun who can come in and lay down the thunderous drum part. So who did they wind up hiring to record the album? But Ansley Dunbar, former Journey, Frank Zappa, and Ansley Dunbar retaliation drummer. Uh, drum legend, actually. More than up for the challenge. He did a great job. So what they did is they went to the studios uh, and recorded this bad boy. The rest is history, folks. One of the biggest selling albums of the uh, 80s. I think it went on to sell, what, 8, 9 million copies. Number one hit in Here I Go Again. And number two hit in Is This Love. Uh, another strong hit and a big MTV video favorite in Still in the Night. A lot of other great tunes. But then what happened? Before they could even go tour the album, Coverdale and Sykes just could not see eye to eye. Sykes is out. Murray's out. Dunbar is out. Coverdale had to put together a whole new band, which he did. Adrian Vandenberg and Vivian Campbell on guitar, ex of Vandenberg and Dio. Rudy Sarzo, ex Quiet Riot Ozzy Osbourne on bass. And on drums, Mr. Tommy Aldridge, formerly of Black Oak, Arkansas, Pat Travers, and various other folks. Great lineup, right? Went on tour. Didn't last, that line didn't last much after the tour because, as you, you know, uh, some changes afterwards, you know, and um, Campbell was out. Vandenberg gets hurt. Steve Vai comes in. That's a story for another day. Back to the 1987 album. So here we have, it's 30, 30 years since the release. They've given it royal treatment. So what do you get in this box, right? This is the box unveiling. So once you take that cover off... There's a whole slew of things located on the inside. So, first of all, we've got the White Snake lyric book. So, included inside are lyrics to all the songs that are included in the album, as well as some initial sketchings from Mr. Coverdale. Okay, kind of cool. Then we get a poster. Kind of nice, you know, of the, I'm not going to hold the whole thing open here, of the White Snake album. Alrighty, album cover, full poster, so if you've got, if you want to frame it, you can certainly do so. And then kind of the real jewel in here is this hard bound, I believe it's like a 60 page book. Uh, let's see, yeah, roughly 60 pages. 
Yes, indeedy. Uh, and this basically tells the whole story of the history leading up basically what I just gave you, I thought I gave you the condensed version. So this is all the gory details of everything that happened uh, during the sliding in period leading up to the recording of this album, during the recording of the album, what happened after the album, the tour, all that good stuff. It's loaded with photographs from the sessions, all sorts of like e uh, CD single uh, release covers from throughout the world. Uh, very, very cool, jam packed full of inf information. Uh, a lot of direct quotes from Coverdale himself. It's a nice little keepsake there. And then, of course, you've got four CDs and a DVD. So what do we have here? So uh, firstly, I've got all sorts of stuff here. So we've got the album remastered here in, in 2017. What's really cool about this, especially for you North America folks, is that you've basically got the European version of the album with the two... Uh, B-sides and bonus tracks thrown in. So, Looking for Love and You're Gonna Break My Heart Again, okay, which was not on the U.S. release. You can get them on like a Greatest Hits compilation as well as the, the B-side, original B-sides. But here they are nestled into the album proper. But more importantly is you've got the European running order of the album. So for those of you who have your old CD copy uh, and here in North America and it kicks off with Crying in the Rain, you don't get that here. So if you're, you pop this in, you're waiting for the familiar, dun, 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 you don't get it. What you get is Still the Night kicks things off here. So it goes Still the Night, Give Me All Your Love, Bad Boys, Is This Love, Here I Go Again, uh, Straight for the Heart, Looking for Love, Children of the Night, You're Gonna Break My Heart Again, Crying in the Rain, and Don't Turn Away. So a different running order, but still you get all, all 11 songs, which for me is pretty damn cool. How's it sound? Yeah, it sounds great. Although the, my original CD sounds great too. This is always a great sounding album. But here you have it once again remastered with, with different running order and those other two tracks. Very, very cool. Then you've got the, uh, the White Snake Snakeskin Boots live on tour 1987-1988. So this is basically uh, live recordings from that tour. All right. They're either headlining or opening up for Motley Crue. I saw them open up for Motley Crue on that tour and they blew them away. So here you've got, um, you know, featuring the band that I told you about, um, Vandenberg, Campbell, Sarzo, Aldridge, Coverdale. So uh, you've got Bad Boys, Children of the Night, Slide It In, Slow and Easy, Here I Go Again, Guilty of Love, Is This Love, Love Ain't No Stranger, uh, Guitar Solo with the Two Guys, Crying in the Rain, Still the Night, Ain't No Love in the Heart of the City, and Give Me All Your Love Tonight. Uh, it, it's, it's fun. It's really good. You know, in spots, it's a little rough sounding. You can hear, especially probably the recordings here that came later in the tour, you can still you can hear a little bit of the cracks in Coverdale's voice that would really rear its head on the following tour for Slip of the Tongue. And in some spots, band's not quite as tight as I remember, but there's still a powerhouse. I think Campbell fits in really, really well in this band. Uh, Vandenberg, not so much. But Vivian Campbell, it's a real shame that he didn't stick with this group because I think, in hindsight, he would have been a better choice for uh, lead guitarist on this on the Slip of the Tongue album than Steve Vai. As great as Steve Vai is, he is he was never a great fit for this band. I think Campbell would have been better off, but it didn't happen. So here you've got a cool memento uh, live stuff from that tour. And then, uh, for a lot of people, the, the the real reason to get this is going to be the '87 Evolutions. Demos and Rehearsal CD. So these are basically a lot of the uh, early recordings of when, you know, Coverdale and Sykes and Dunbar and Murray were kind of putting this album together. So you got, uh, what do you have here? You, and, and, you know, some of the recordings are not so great. Some are totally monstrous uh, with, like, Sykes and Dunbar just completely killing it. So you've got, like, really early versions of Still of the Night, Give Me All Your Love, Bad Boys, Is This Love, Straight for the Heart. Looking for Love, that's very cool on here. Children of the Night, very, very cool. You're Gonna Break My Heart Again is great. Crying in the Rain is killer on here. Don't Turn Away and another version of Crying in the Rain. So, you know, pretty cool. Oh, there they are, just hanging out, putting some ideas together. From there, it keeps on going, right? You get the uh, 87 versions. This is basically filled with remixes. Uh, and odded uh, assorted things. So you got and you've got 2017 remixes of Still the Night Is This Love, 
Give Me All Your Love and Here I Go Again, 1987. Then you get the 1987 versions from Japan mini album, Standing in the Shadows, Looking for Love, You're Gonna Break My Heart Again, Need Your Love So Bad. And then uh, the singles for Here I Go Again, the radio mix, which I can't stand, and Give Me All Your Love, also the single version. Neither one are great. So, you know, out of all the CDs here, this is probably like the least of interest, but, you know, it's a nice add-on. And then lastly, we've got Whitesnake, the videos. Again, uh, most of these you've probably seen more than enough times, or you can go on YouTube and check them out. But anyway, you've got the uh, the big MTV staples of the day uh which was still the night here i go again is this love and also give me all your love and then uh you've got some a little bit a little documentary kind of making of the album which is kind of neat uh, a little video jam to here i go again and then probably the best thing about this is the 1987 come on you can say it video tour bootleg uh which has got uh, crying in the rain band intros, and then a pretty killer still of the night. So a nice little video snippet from that tour. So, uh, you know, if you're a Whitesnake fan and you're pondering to yourself, should I own this? Should I buy this? Do I need to get 87 all over again? Yeah, you do. It's worthwhile. You know, if, if, not, if nothing else for the remastered version of the original album in a different running order with those other two tracks thrown in, uh, definitely for the... Um, the, the rare, uh, you know, rehearsal and demo stuff, very, very cool. The live album is definitely cool. You need to own that, and I love the damn booklet. So, you know, for 30-something bucks, go out and do it, folks. Can't go wrong, you know, and uh, if you read up in there, Mr. Coverdale talks a little bit about uh, kind of where Whitesnake has been the last few years, where they're going. Uh, from the sounds of it, it looks like they're writing for a new studio album in 2018 and a 40th anniversary Whitesnake tour. Oh, oh. Look out for that, folks. So anyway, uh, I am Pete Pardo. This has been your uh, unveiling of the Whitesnake 87 30th Anniversary Edition box set. Go out and get it ASAP. Till next time, visit us on the web at www.seatranquilly.org. We're on Twitter. We're on Facebook. We're here on the Mighty YouTube. We've got another show coming up. We've got releases from Communic and King Crimson and Oz and, oh boy, Focus, all sorts of stuff. What else? Nick Turner. A lot of, lot of good stuff. Look for that in the upcoming days. Again, I'm Pete Pardo. Talk to you soon.